<clears throat> Hello, how are you today? Okay, now, the promised thing on theming. The issue that I was having last time was related to the fact that I didn't have all the app, sorry, application dependencies installed because I was missing parts of the GTK 2.0, um, you know, uh, libraries, the, the dev versions of the libraries. Anyway, <clears throat> as you can see, GNU Step has a GTK theme here, we're using a lot of the GTK widgets, as you can see here, and there are some that are custom for the new step, only because GTK does not have versions of them, you know, um, so, you know, they're, they're represented here by, you know, versions of, you know, GNU step controls. So, but it's taken on a very sort of like GTK theme here. And what it, how it does that is it actually uses the GTK um, widgets. And we, uh, we use the GTK widgets to apply sort of the, um, you know, the, the, uh, the look. I apologize for my lack of words here. Um, yeah, so we use it to apply the look, and we do the very same thing with the Windows theme, which I will show you guys tomorrow. Um, because what it does is it basically uses the WinUX theme in order, uh, DLL, in order to render the widgets and display them on screen. So we are using the native uh, functionality, the native widgets that are actually the ones that are supposed to be drawn by either GTK or by um, by Windows. Um, but GNU Step has two types of themes really. Um, one is code based themes like this one. This one actually uses a binary in the bundle to override existing drawing themes in order to, sorry, existing drawing methods in order to allow us to draw the uh, widgets in certain ways. We can do this either by delegating to the drawing library of another windowing system, like we are here, or with Windows, or we can define our own stuff. Um, the other type of theme is a sort of like just colors and like other tweaks with respect to how the look you know is in GNU step now I'm gonna close uh, Gorm here so that I can go ahead and show you this in system preferences now um, I have been using a theme that I call darkness because what it does is it uses the same color scheme as Mac OS X. Very similar colors. Um, I tried to match them as close as possible. So if I click this in System Preferences and then I do Apply, it will stay for a little bit and I think it will switch back after a certain number of seconds. I'm not sure. We'll see. Nope, it doesn't. Um, but uh, if I click on GNU Step and hit Apply, I get the default look. Okay, there are a number of other themes that are available. I don't have them installed here, but as you can see, the app changes its look as soon as I hit Apply or Save. Um, and so, what this should do is, when I hit Save, it should do this across all applications that are currently running. Um, not only that, um, I don't have the capability to just demonstrate this right now, but if I, if GTK has different themes, or, you know, conversely, I mean, not conversely, but of course, by extension, you know, Windows, uh, it will change themes when I go into the GTK Preferences Manager and change the themes there, because we are using GTK's or Windows's, you know, uh, theming package in order to draw our widgets. 
So anyway, there you have it. Uh, I do apologize for skipping a day. I will extend my, uh, what is it, uh, my 30 days out one day. I did it because um, I was trying to figure out the issues that I was having with theming yesterday, and it got a little too late. Anyway, so thank you guys for your kind attention. Oh, and by the way, I am demonstrating here on Linux Mint, as you can see. Um, so, but uh, thank you guys for your kind attention, and um, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow.